That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Uh-huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home, and they'll be super jealous they missed out on all this. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. says invitation and then read immediately your life depends on it <clears throat> greetings traveler yep that seems about right keep reading jesse we've got your back i i humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers that's odd yeah weird right whoa <laughs> yeah. Toss it here! Petrov, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Well, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say... That's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse.
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! On that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. <sighs> Stick with me, guys. Creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. My inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Some kitchen. Oh, dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, if... What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours. 
It's Rue! We got one of these invitations, too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. <clears throat> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. You would know all about loser patrols, wouldn't you, loser? Whoa! You fronting right now? Is that what's going on? What do you got, like 12 fans? Talk dog. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped, so we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! Did you hear that? Something touched my butt! Who touched my butt? Everyone die for cover! Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk, but that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that, who, one minute he's alive, the next, gone, poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay, you're right. Whew. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Wait, back up. What did you say that was? Uh, t tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh... I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you! Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, 
You've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. When did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! No. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone! Come on! Don't get greedy! His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason. Including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep. Hi. That's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? 
Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh. Gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. It was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, uh well, what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Torque Dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have? What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. So, Lizzie, I heard something interesting about you and Torque Dog. Yeah? What did you hear? I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. I heard he stole from you. Whoa, would you keep it down? Okay, yes, he did. 
He stole one of my creeper head trophies, my very first one. I just didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, creeper head? This isn't about Dench. the. No, not in front of. And no, I told you, I never had it. Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? Uh, remember that rare item you were asking us about before? Yeah, it's that, and I'm still not going to talk about it. Sorry. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. People thought it was something he stole from Lizzie, but all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yes, yeah, something's not quite adding up here. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure, it's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little oh, while geez, ago to get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Sparkles! Everyone stop moving! There could be more traps! Greetings, adventurers! I am the White Pumpkin! One of you is the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder! I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope. <laughs> 
Not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? Must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Man, poor Sparkles. Crushed under sand. Ugh, really nasty way to go. Let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy, one of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. 
yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Dan. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and still everyone's talking about? I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Oh, I see. Someone stole your loot and you want revenge, huh? That about the long and short of it? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want what's rightfully mine. I mean, we all want it. Doesn't mean I kill people for it, though. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Wow, would you kill someone for it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. I wouldn't put it past Stampy, though. He'd love the chance to explore other worlds. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in.
Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! Oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before, honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> what do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average? Average level moderate? I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What, um, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. Time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. 
However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. that lever does okay everyone make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap more of those potion covered arrows nasty well looks like we found out how the white pumpkin killed torque dog yeah and how he's getting around the house i assume we're investigating the creepy passageway I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not the pushing buttons? The white pumpkin, he's in there! Oh, come on, no, nothing like this, this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. Yeah. What? What on earth? Everywhere. Okay. I'll see if I can get in another way. 
Thanks. He's gone. For now, time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <laughs> Join the party. <laughs> That's my cue. Come on. Jesse, are you okay? Have to break through. <laughs> Try to keep up. This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the White Pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now Lizzie has gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. <laughs> Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. 
No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. The White Pumpkin must have a... I don't know, a, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the White Pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Ah, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. secret passage. Nope. Very locked. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Uh, yeah, that seems right. There we go. Awesome. You got it open? Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Petra, let it go, okay? They're just scared. Fine, but if she says something like that again... Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be there for that. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? 
Yeah? Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Done. Don't... Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time, he's not getting away unscathed. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. Starting to smell him too. Oh, ditto. Gross. Oh, well, that explains all the zombie noises. Sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh... Zombie filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay, I think we can jump from here. Embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like cats. sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. What? Ah! Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? We're trying to find the white pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. 
Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow, who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I, I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? No, Stampy. You should hang on to it. Yeah. Who knows what'll happen if it changes hands again? I suppose you're right. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. <laughs> oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. This chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty! Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. And I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Oh, 
Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats. So many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. I I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits... Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? We found the white pumpkin's lair right beneath us. What? Really? Yeah. Very interesting. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh! I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black white and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know! I was shocked too! But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, 
until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Wow, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see, I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault. You did this to me. Ah! Ah! I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. Ah! Whoa. Another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. The poor Cassie. She did some terrible things, but no one deserves to be trapped away from home like that. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk dog, sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us that portal brought you here. Speaking of which. I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool, guys, you can share it. Make, like, your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea! Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here, from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. 
Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Ah! Can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Wings for my pet. Activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, that's no use! Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, it's just starting going faster. She booby trapped for booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me the key, Jesse. No! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Yeah. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? Game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. <laughs> no. No, we are going home. You should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are in 
INCREDIBLY TENACIOUS! <laughs> Jesse, it stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Winslow! Winslow, come on! Down for the love. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey! Percy! <sighs> What? Aren't you gonna say goodbye? Seems pretty rude to leave someone in a death trap without even saying goodbye. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. Ah! Ah! What's going? Ah! I've got it! Excellent! I did it! You're all dying now! Uh, no, thank you! Proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team, we all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. 